good morning. So we began this week talking about depression, but it, a different form of depression, spiritual depression, the depression that causes people to back off from church attendance, causes them to back off from prayer, Bible reading, even association with the saints of God. Uh, we many times tend to say these people are uh, backslidden, which is true, but they are exhibiting some form of spiritual depression. And I think part of it is that we don't take seriously the strength of sin and just how powerful it is. We get depressed many times on the account on account of the fact that we've underestimated the power and the subtlety of, of sin and how Satan would love to sift us and to give us all of these problems. And we talked about the Apostle Paul yesterday who could have had a reason to be depressed because he was troubled on every side. He was perplexed. He was persecuted and cast down. But he says we're not d distressed. We're not in despair. We're not cast down and we're not destroyed. So we continue to thank the Lord. And I said the answer was that is that he believed that the excellency of the power should be of God and not of himself. He was trying to focus on the things of God. Remember in 2 Corinthians 4, 6, it tells us for God, who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So this work that God did on our behalf for our good and his glory was that he shined in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God. And how? In the face of Jesus Christ. So, Sadly, what happens many times is uh, we find ourselves getting down and we get depressed. It's because our focus becomes so intently on the physical that we forget the work that has already been done in the heart of the believer. As a Christian, we know full well that God has done a work in our hearts. He, it's described here as shining in our hearts, a light that shone out of darkness. So the darkness of our heart, the sin nature we had, there was nothing we could do to be right with God in and of ourselves until God commanded the light to shine out of darkness. So by the very command of God for the believer, we have within us the light that God himself shined into our hearts. And it was to give us knowledge, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God that we would not labor for our own, own glory anymore, but for the glory of God. I found for myself, when I find myself being spiritually depressed, and it happens way more often than I want it to, I would love to just ride on this mountaintop my whole life. Oh, the Lord is so good. I never have, I'm never doubtful. I'm never depressed. He's so strong. He's so powerful. He just makes me glow with happiness. I wish that was the case all the time, but the truth is, is this earthen vessel, it still has that baggage of sin going along with it. I'm not going to be free from sin in this life. I, I get that. I understand it. And if you think you are, the Bible says you're calling God a liar in 1 John. He says you're, you're calling God a liar to say that you have no sin. And, uh, and far be it from a believer to call God a liar. If God says, I still have sin, I still have sin. But he does tell us that if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. But not only just to forgive us, but to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you see yourself now, as you begin to understand this, being spiritually depressed, you don't have the same zeal that you once had. You find yourself kind of cool to the things of God. They're not as thrilling to your heart as they once were. My encouragement to you would be to repent, to say, God, I realize that I'm being troubled by physical things. I'm, I'm distressed by physical things. I, I feel persecuted or maybe cast down then you need to say, God, I know what my reaction should be in this. I want to confess that failure to you, confess my sin, repent, turn from it, and have you forgive those sins. So, beginning your journey out of spiritual depression is repentance and faith. 